Maestro War and PAX number no. 1 of this 5 issues run was published 2 days ago with this impressive cover by Dale Keown, showing the rage of the evil Hulk known as the Maestro. Written by Peter David, this run tells how Maestro expanded his rule after defeating Hercules in Dystopia. The book opens in Connecticut, with a group of rebels calling themselves the Stalkers. They were watching as the Maestro's dogs of war coming to destroy them, but the man could not see the Maestro with the dogs, when suddenly, the unexpected happened. Maestro landed before the Stalkers, remarking that they claim that they rule the city, or what is left of the city. Maestro sent them an emissary to inform them that he was in charge, but they sent the emissary's head back on a stick. He could not forgive them for showing disrespect and decided to finish them. They opened their fire, but Maestro proved invulnerable against their weapons. He then ordered his dogs to kill them. The soldiers then reported that all the adults are dead, but some children managed to flee before they could be captured. Maestro then met the kids and tried to be nice. He told them that his name is Maestro, but they can call him Bruce. One of the kids, however, asked if Maestro killed their parents, and Maestro said that they killed themselves by fighting him. He then offered the kids to come with him where they will grow up happy, but the kid just spat in his face. The angry kids accused him of killing their parents and decided to fight. Maestro then ordered the soldier to kill the kids, and the order was carried out. Later on in his palace in Dystopia, Maestro told his minister that he must eliminate humanity's division. Humanity can't be left on its own to run things, and it requires a political movement. Maestro has the perfect name for his new movement. He calls post-apocalyptic existence, or Pax for short, a Latin word which means peace. All humans will swear fealty to Maestro and Pax or will be disposed of. The minister, however, said that Maestro disposed of the stalkers and rules over dystopia, and there is nothing to worry about. But Maestro said that there are survivors hiding in Washington, D.C., and they have a lot of supplies that could be very useful for dystopia. Maestro then sent the minister to Washington in order to negotiate with the survivors. He met Machine Man who took him into their base they called the Haven. Machine Man then asked the minister about the purpose of his visit. The minister said that he came to inform them that Maestro was going to rule them all. Machine Man then used his internal PA system to broadcast what the minister just said and asked him to repeat. The minister said that they have to surrender their resources, which will be redistributed. The maestro then will introduce himself and the conditions of his new rule, to which they will submit without question or hesitation. Otherwise, there will be no survivors. Machine Man then told the soldiers to implement Operation Egress and told the minister that they will not surrender to the maestro, who was on his way to break into their base. The soldiers opened their fire, but the maestro proved invulnerable again and took them down with a thunderclap. Delphi from the Pantheon saw what happened and met with the rest of the members and informed them that the Hulk was back, but with a beard and less hair, and calls himself the Maestro, and that he conquered Washington, D.C. They argued about whether to intervene to stop him or not, but as the leader of the team, Atlanta said that they will not take any action. Meanwhile, Maestro broke into the controlling room where Machine Man was holding the minister. He then let the minister go before engaging the maestro who attacked. Machine Man, however, managed to evade the attack before hitting maestro on the head. He then created holograms to distract him, before blasting him with eye beams. This, however, wasn't enough to stop the maestro who blocked Machine Man's punch, but Machine Man blasted maestro with an electrical shock, which also proved useless. Maestro pounded on Machine Man and knocked him away. He then ripped Machine Man's head off, who said that this was part of the plan to delay the maestro, so that the real Machine Man would have enough time to fly the survivors to a backup base. The clone then said that he has a bomb in his chest that will go off if his body is damaged, so that no one can make use of it. The clone then detonated the bomb and destroyed the whole base, with the soldier wondering if the maestro would survive the explosion. Maestro survived unharmed and came out from under the debris, but did not want to hear a word about what happened. Later on, the Pantheon received an unexpected visitor. Atlanta said that they are hidden under the Columbia Ice Field and that they should not have visitors. But this wasn't any visitor. 
The book ends with Dr. Doom demanding to be brought in immediately, saying that he doesn't like to wait. Peter David paved the way for the upcoming confrontation between Doom and Maestro, and hope it will live up to our expectations. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.